there's been a lot. Um, if I was to say it, three levels in high school, obviously winning a state championship was the last game of my high school career, but that being pretty cool, that's that was right up there. Um, college, we well, I was part of a lot of big games. Um, I would say the one that I remember the most, though, would be my freshman year at Arkansas. We played Texas, and we played Oklahoma and Texas in the same week, beat them both. But I remember as a freshman – I've been a part of some big games, and we played in over 14,000 in the state finals game. But to go into Bud Walton, and it'd be 19,000 plus. I remember looking at the floor. We were playing Texas, and the floor was literally vibrating. And I remember just thinking, whoa, like this is a another whole another level. Uh, so in college, I remember that game. There, were, college, I hit a game winner in the Maui Invitational when I was Marquette? at Butler. Against yeah, Marquette. Against yeah. Marquette. So that was probably one of the coolest experiences I had and as far as professional we won uh, an Italian championship two years ago so my family was there for that the kids were involved in that which made that really cool you know going 10 years playing not very often do you have a chance to win a championship or be even be in a spot to win a championship and for us to do that was pretty cool being one of my last years too he makes it you're up three do you foul I don't I think fouling brings losing to the equation. It doesn't matter now. That one spins out two-point game. Clark at midcourt. Three seconds left. Clark shovels it up there. He hit it! He hit the shot! He hit it! Are you kidding me? Butler wins it! Are you kidding me? Rodney Clark at the buzzer! And Butler in a heart stopper defeats Marquette! They're going to look at it again, but I don't think there's any need to. By rule, they will go to that monitor. Rodney Clark being pummeled by his teammates. 72-71. Butler in an absolute thriller.